Hello everyone, and welcome to the interior view of the Iron Trench that we are presently constructing next to the Gemini Grinder and the Witch Farm. That sound you can hear <laughs> is uh, what I'm calling the Barrel of Monkeys. It's the container that houses all of the uh, villagers that populate the farm. And if you didn't catch my Polar Flight livestream, then you unfortunately missed all of them getting shot out on a water stream up to into there. And I'll just go around here and show it to you. Oh, now it's supposed to be quiet. There we are, there's the uh, Barrel of Monkeys. And uh, we have about 25, 30 people in there. So, a fair bit, enough that we can actually start getting golems and all sorts. So, they're going to sit in there and probably be annoying throughout this entire episode. Uh, but we are starting work on the wiring, which is why I've moved a bunch of stuff up here. And I've already got those parts for the first section of that, so... This is probably going to be two episodes, because there's a fair bit of this, and it's kind of complicated, such that I will probably forget it very soon. Uh, so let's see, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th block out, we need to make a hopper timer. Now, this is probably not the hopper, that, hopper timer that I would recommend doing, so I'm going to build it to the specifications of Tango Tech first, and then we will see afterwards if I actually change it over into another design. And we need the hoppers. Uh, but yeah, it is uh, presently... This video goes out the same day I'm recording it, which is a little bit of the busyness on my side that you can probably guess. Um, yep. And I need another piston. There, right. Um, oh, wait, this is sticky pistons. These need to be sticky pistons? I don't think... Mm, again, this is my thinking of this probably isn't the best idea. Uh, but this is sort of the eco design. And this needs 82 blocks. So, let me see. 8, 16, 32, 64. Uh, that needs 16 more blocks to be 80. And then another two, four. There we go. Okay. Just stick those in there. And that will quite happily begin counting away. And now we need an RS latch, I believe. Which is an old school, very old school actually, uh, way of counting things. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very old memory unit, is its more precise designation. I have a golem tethered over here to uh, keep most of the nasties at bay, but what worries me is he may not get them all. Okay, there is the timer going. Good. And yes, we're in line with that. So if I dig along here, then we should eventually hit uh, the pressure plate that's under there. So that's three blocks in, and then one under. Doop, 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 and run this up here so it reaches that, and goes up here into that. Okay, so that will now hit our RS latch, and we need to apply a couple of... Yep, that happens. Uh, that happens, I believe, because of over here, so, yeah. Uh, one there, so that makes our latch, and we can add another one there like that, and up here. Okay, and a repeater is in need. Oh, stone. And I've got my redstone and stuff, so good. I don't, however, have my crafting bench. You'd think that, you'd think I, think I would actually, like, remember to bring that of all things up here, but apparently no. That I left over here. Grab ya. Yeah, haven't moved the ender chest just yet, because that is a bit of a pain. Because if you don't hit it with the right thing, then you get, uh... I don't recall if you... I think you get the obsidian back, or... And not the eye of ender, or the other way around. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, so yeah, how was your Christmas? Uh, mine was extremely eventful. That is not the right thing. Ah, the old repeaters. Gotta love them. And into there. Big tick. Okay, uh, let me see, I opened presents at my house, and then I went over to one of my grandma, uh, grandmother's 
for dinner, and then I went over to my aunt's for a quick get-together. Okay, we need to loop this together. That gives us an AND gate. Okay. And we need to also link this up, don't we? No, no, because this will get triggered by that. Fairly soonish, we'll see. Okay. Uh, but I just want to check this actually does. This part works at least. Because what happens here is that that wire we just laid down there links up ostensibly to the very last uh, pressure plate there. Yep, so whenever a golem walks over that, it sends power to here and keeps that, uh, that torch on, which in turn keeps that torch off so that this AND gate cannot fire uh, the next time that this loop goes around. And we can safely trigger that, so let's go. And the power is not on, so something is off here. We are a block short, is what. Okay, so let's try that again. Power on now? No. Hmm. Okay then, let's see what we can find. Ah, uh, dirt, dirt, dirt. I have a bucket. Well, rather, I had a bucket until, uh... Certain individuals murdered me accidentally in the never. Okay, that is what we want. Now, why is there a hole there? That's odd. Okay, stick that there. And get the plate, put that back. Oop, doop, doop. Oop, not fall in the lava in the process. Okay, that should be fine. Yep. Yeah, I may have to make another bucket, but that should be okay. Okay, and now it is on, which is perfect. That's exactly what it should be. A little bit noisy from the doors tripping, but that's fine. Uh, and that is the first section of wiring that we need to do. Because this is detecting when the golems have stopped flowing, effectively. It's detecting... Um, whether or not we should rebuild the three villages that compose the area. I'm just going to put these here so nothing wanders up. Okay, so we can use this line to initiate the system to rebuild all of those uh, missing villages. And I'm probably going to over Peter along here, aren't I? Hmm. And a bunch more redstone. But I think I grabbed some in here. Yes. Okay, now that goes down over here into a sort of an old school repeater. So like that, and like that, and one there. I'm not quite sure what that's for just yet, because it leads into uh, Tango's big pillars, which we're not building at the moment. So it could be a complete... Uh, unnecessary thing for us, but we shall see. Yeah, I'm sort of building this as I'm watching the video. Yeah, the, the video will be linked in the description, and if you see how long that video is, you can probably guess why I'm, I'm uh, watching so, which, it so slowly. Okay, now we need a hopper and a dropper, which requires some cobblestone, I believe. Which, as you can imagine, I have none of, and how the hell did you get up here? Yeah, no, go. Thank you. And redstone. And uh, my luck, there's some feathers or a chicken in here. Nope. All good. There it is. Okay. We need some cobble. I don't have any cobble, but I have plenty of stone, courtesy of Phaleron. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's just whack this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting with lying. Okay. Bit of redstone. That's okay, that gets us our dropper. And I had some chests. Okay. And some iron. Need one bit more iron than that. 
Yeah, Iron is in dire need at the moment. Hopper. Okay. And I'm also going to need this comparator in a moment. Uh, but first... Uh, let me see if I can hear that needs to go. Yeah. And then the comparator feeds out of it into uh, some or works something like this. Oop, I think it stops there. Okay, one, two, three, and around to there. And in here go 17 blocks. So let's just go and grab some. Why do I have an extra piece of... Oh, because I only need seven. Derp. Uh, and there I need 17 items. So there we are. And this is basically a counter. Uh, so power goes into there. That turns off a couple more torches here. And this is controlled by a, that, which is then also feeding back into itself via another uh, repeater. And I had some wood there. Just I actually have a fair bit of wood, because I chopped down the uh, jungle tree neck door again. Okay, more torches. I'm almost positively more than that. Whoop, that is not the thing that goes in the middle. Okay, repeater. And that is used to create a feedback here. So power comes out of here and then immediately turns itself off. It's basically a blink. And that should allow us to just count things up very slowly. And now we need another RS latch, uh, which is those memory circuits over there. Uh, which, is the, which is that memory circuit there, and we need another hopper timer, so I need a couple more sticky pistons. Uh, piston, make sticky. Like that. And I need some more bricks. There we go. Okay, and this had some very specific positioning, but I'm going to try and ignore it. <laughs> I may have to, just because, again, I don't particularly remember. Oh, hello, it's a zombie villager. If I could give you something, you might actually be useful later. You around? Hello. Where are you? There you are. Could you carry that? Thank you. And, ooh, I, need, no, I now need to trap you, don't I? Dang. Come on. Because if you wander next to that gold, next to that gold lump, you're going to get very quickly scuppered. Uh, something to block that in the furnace. There. Now, stay well. You are a little bit out from underneath here, so uh, I'm going to block you in a little bit more. Actually, let's block you in a lot more. There we go. Pet golem. Hooray. Well, uh, pet zombie. And let's pick that out. Because I might need this later. Hey, boy. Okay, I might need him upstairs, is my thinking. Because, uh, to rebuild the, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, to rebuild the, oop, wow, your death chills on here. Uh, to rebuild the villages, I'm gonna have to send a guy on a minecart, more or less, around upstairs. Oh. Ah, the Christmas mug. <laughs> okay, so I can, oh, uh, kind of where that was come up here. Okay, so yeah, right now it's telling that it should be rebuilding on the basis that there are no golems coming through. It's just the one guy outside. Uh, so now I'm going to... I have a arrow in my foot. Huh. That looks like it should be excruciatingly painful. But it isn't, so not going to work. Okay, so we need another one. Uh, and I believe... 
and the hopper has to one of one of the left the right hand hopper of this new timer needs to be in line with part of the RS latch, but I can't quite recall where that is in line with. Uh, so let's just build it up around here. And torches. And wire. Doop. Doop doop. Okay. And we now need to... Let's see. Hopper, hopper, whatnot. Okay. So, hopper here. Comparator there. Yeah, that's the other thing I need is comparators again. Oh dear. Oh, hey. You would take on for ages. Okay. There. And there. There. And there. I don't have any hoppers on me. Hmm. And... We don't have any comparators over. Jeez. How prepared am I, everyone? Right. Ah, da 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 da. We need... Two nether quartz, a couple of chests, and more iron than is strictly reasonable. There, less than a stack remaining. Oh dear. Okay, and it's two logs. So I can make the second chest that I need. And into hoppers. And I need more torches. I need six torches for here. Wow, it is really noisy standing here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's just grab the one, because I have much on my carry. Right. Two, 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 two. Two. One. Two. Yeah. There we go. Comparators and hoppers. And into these... Uh, we need to have... Oh, it's a very bizarrely specific one. Uh, we need to have two blocks in this one and an 88 in that one. And I'm not exactly clear on why that is. It seems oddly specific. So let's see, 16 again to get that up to 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 2. So, let's see. Two in there. 64 and two in there. And she's ticking. Which she actually shouldn't be because there needs to be a wire leading into there. There. Okay, and... That needs to be an 18, doesn't it? Well, actually, we just take everything but two out of here and we'll figure it out. There we go. Uh, I need to go and get a... another repeater. So this is more or less the fair, as you can imagine, uh, of me just running around, getting all manner of resources in hand to make all manner of other blocks to figure out how to make other things, whilst occasionally slipping away to watch uh, Tango's video, which goes into extremely excessive detail. Or at least I would call it excessive detail. Uh, but this is an interesting thing in that it's um, it's kind of sensitive. It's, it doesn't like it when you talk about its weight. Um, which I, I guess would be quite magnificent actually in terms of values. Um, but if you put a, another wooden door, like we have so many down here, if you put another wooden door within something like 70, 80 blocks of this thing, it basically breaks and shuts down completely. Uh, the wiring, of course, will keep on running, so occasionally you'll still hear the uh, fluttering of those doors, and you'll definitely still hear the uh, squeaking of these guys. Um, but otherwise it doesn't produce iron anymore. And it isn't producing iron right now, because we still need to sort that part out. Um, but that is going to be it for today, so that's sort of roughly half of this level of uh, the wiring, but we've got a lot more to do. And I may be happy to tidy up a little bit around here, just make sure I've gotten everything right, which I'm not sure I have. Um, but with that in mind, I shall catch you all next time.
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.